that people have left for me. It was pretty special. So we're just about ready to head off to uh, Jindy's fundraiser. Doing some quiz with the mates. Um, yeah, it's always good to do something good for somebody else and doing it with a bunch of mates is even better. Um, kind of hoping that the um, brain damage isn't going to affect my uh, quiz knowledge. Doubt it. it hasn't affected me too badly thus far. Hopefully it stays that way. I believe that Jenny was admitted to hospital in Dunedin, which is quite a way away from here. So she might not be at the fundraiser tonight. So, uh, Jenny, get better. Uh, hopefully this fundraiser helps you out a lot. Um, I can sympathise with you. Yeah. Hopefully you get better. It's, not, it's never a good time to be injured like this. So, uh, hope you get better. And uh, I'm going to go enjoy this fundraiser. We have arrived. It says all under 18s have to be escorted with adults. I may be over 18, but in my heart, I'm under 18. I'm about 5. Yeah. And then we are here with Mark and Robbie, <laughs> my future wife. <laughs> Mark, if you're watching, I'm sorry. Two thousand. Just one. googling the answers, bruh. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, meet Harriet. So coming back from a successful night at the fundraiser, my team came fourth last, unfortunately. Like I said, brain damage. Oh well, I was no help. But I, if I was like 80 years old, I would have been. Definitely ask to uh, donate it. Jenny Roberts' fundraising page for her TBS disease. Um, so she needs some funds and it'll be good to help her out. So if you want to, I'll put a link in the description below um, for you to go to donate to that. So thanks, peace out, all the time. So it's, uh, it's been another long day today. You can probably hear my voice is a bit uh, softer now. I think I'll put that other vocal cord on the strain today. No, I had a real good day today. The morale's up. I'm very tired. My brain was working really hard at giving all the wrong answers. <laughs> I did no physio today, but I feel like I just did the Tour de France. It takes its toll, just, you know, socialising. Quite an eventful two days with Rion Richard. Two craziest guys I know. Jeez, my eye looks so swollen. No, it's, that's just a side effect from the nerve damage or the brain damage. One of the two, I've got... No, I don't even know. And you really don't realise how ugly you look until you get that front camera going. <laughs> just a bit about me and what I've been doing out of my recovery, out of hospital after being there for three months. So um, Hopefully I can continue doing this. Um, I'd like to, um, depending on your input. Uh, unless you find this painstakingly boring, then I might question whether I will continue. But um, for the moment, uh, I'd like to use this opportunity to just um, kind of give you an insight into something that someone does 
when they're going through tough times and how I deal with it. And hopefully I can motivate others that, you know, maybe you're in a different situation, but similar sort of circumstances that you're stuck at home a lot. You've got to rely on friends for everything. or have got to rely on other people because of whatever it may be. Um, um, and hopefully I can be an inspiration to a few people. Um, that'd be that'd be quite great. But until the next video, I'm not sure when it will be, depending on how boring my life is. <laughs> um, until then, um, yeah, we'll see. Cheers. It's my life now. Oh, hey. <laughs>